I'm Peter Block at ACC 2019 in New Orleans. On my left is Vera Bittner, uh, who is from actually uh, one of my neighbors at Emory. She's at the University of Alabama in Birmingham. And uh, we were talking about LP little a. Now, LP little a has been one of those funny risk factors, hasn't it, Vera? That uh, we're, we've not been, we've been pretty sure about it, but it's been a little tricky to find out exactly what it can do if reduced and whether or not it really changes outcomes. But you have looked at a subgroup of the Odyssey trial to see whether LP little a really seems to be an important factor in what it has done. So tell me a little bit about Odyssey and what you've done with this and what you found. Yeah, so LP little a, so, you know, LP little a I think is a causal risk factor based on the Mendelian randomization studies that Brian Ferentz and others have done. And alarocumab, we know lowers events in that post-acute coronary syndrome population that we had, and we know that it lowers LDL cholesterol, and we know that it lowers LP little a. And so the question that we basically asked is you know, how much of the event lowering is due to LDL cholesterol and how much of it is due to the LP little a lowering. Right, so that's the tricky question, isn't it? We have LDL floating around, we have LP little a floating around, and which is really the culprit and how much of a culprit. So what did you find? So we jointly modeled the two reductions uh, in the alirocumab group, and so it turns out that regardless of your baseline LP little a level, the LDL reduction is the predominant thing that drives event reduction. But as you go from low to high LP little a, the reduction in LP little a increasingly becomes important. And so when we look at the fourth quartile of the LP little a distribution, it was 27% of the reduction in maize that was due to the LP little a reduction. So I think at the higher LP little a levels, it makes a big difference. Okay, so you know, for years we've been talking about LP little a, and there's been this controversy, and yes, it is important, no, it is not important, how do we get it down? Does it really make a difference when we get it down and such? There are a number of trials now that are being uh, started that we hope will give us the answer to whether reducing LP little a will make a difference. How do we reduce it best? Well, I think the new drugs that are more specific to LP little a uh, will give us clearer answers. You know, so far all the drugs that have been looked at will lower LDL cholesterol on LP little a, and so to have specific agents such as the antisense mRNAs, then I mean you can with confidence say that the LP little a lowering was the driving force. Right. So these new antisense drugs will in fact drive LP little a down selectively. Se selectively. Yes. Okay. So. Uh, What's the take-home message from what you've learned? Uh, so I think the take-home message is that LP little a is a risk factor in our trial. The best we can tell, part of the event reduction, especially at the higher LP little a levels, is due to the LP little a reduction. And from here on, I think it's a great justification for these big randomized trials to look at that specifically. Okay, so for all the folks out there who've been wondering about this shadow character that's been lurking in the background, LP little a, uh, we haven't really thought very much about it because LDL has been the prime target, but now LP, uh, LP little a is emerging. Keep your eye on LP little a. It's going to be a big hitter. Thank you, Vera. Thank you.